the hermit, the spiritual teacher. You know, I love the hermit. You and you, if you know, if you've been watching my reads, you guys know I talk about the hermit so much. And the spiritual teacher, it's because you know, when the student is ready, the teacher will come. And all of our lessons, you know, with that eight of swords energy, when we dive deep and spend a lot of, and spend this time alone and understand with our own selves that the things we go through all have a reason. And the, that's the high priestess energy, the duality, the duality of life. So there are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. And I just feel this is more of what you're seeking out during that nine of swords. So use that time wisely when you're in your alone time, when you're undergoing those, um, when your mind is going in circles about something, when you're overthinking something, when you're overstressing about something. So let's see. You know, there's so much wisdom with, within that. And I feel like Spirit is just saying it's there because the fool is here. So you need to be able to trust yourself too. Um, so let's see the spiritual journey. What is your soul's transition? What is the soul's transition for the Taurus? intuitively sensing something is shifting beneath the surface and you are right you know <laughs> that is exactly what this nine of swords it's like you know there's this beginning and it's almost like you know it's happening but there's need to control there's a controlling energy behind this awareness that it's almost like you know it's happening you intuitively know um that something is shifting um but it's almost like you're, 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 the fears kick in because it's almost like you can't see it. But justice is here because it's part of your cycle. It's, it's the thing to happen in your life right now. Um, so let's see what you're going to allow. What is Taurus going to allow for the month? What do they need to allow for November? I allow myself to manifest all of my desires and wishes. And that's, again, that's the magician energy, which is trusting the process. That's that's the number one. The fool is zero. The magician is one. That also indicates tens, which is why this new cycle is here. So you can manifest your desires, but how much do you believe in it? How much can you surrender to the universe? How much can you surrender to your faith? Um, and that's what the spiritual journey is. The, the hermit trusts, learns a lot within that, that space. Um, and you gain so much awareness, so much um, inner knowing. So let's see what you need to surrender for November. Surrender your attachments to results. And it's that energy of control that I'm talking about, um, Taurus. So the formula for success is, is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. You know, this is where we have to, this is where the faith comes in, Taurus, because, you know, there's a lot of anxiety to a specific result and maybe there's a control of certain other aspects, maybe not being where they need to be when you want them to be, but that's just the way the universe works. You know, everything is just the way it needs to be. And obviously that is not always the easiest answer to accept, but it's one of those things where you always remember when you go through something and then later on you be like oh my god you know if this didn't happen then I would have not had this and you realize why things took, took place the way they did and this is basically no different this is again that cycle of not knowing why is always going to exist as part of the soul's journey it's how we how we um learn All right, 
so we have six of swords moving on love begins there is a love for sure for someone ace of cups um and there is a new beginning here you know and this is also a rejuvenation of your own self-love self-emotions committing to the process understanding what you deserve too um the moving on six of swords is a surrendering it's moving to calmer waters it's a it's also persevering um the mental battle right the five of five of swords prior to the six of swords we have the throat chakra here and this is being honest to ourselves i think truths that need to be said four of cups discontent and boredom and i just feel this is a being mindful of what that um energy is to us and then you have judgment and it is a judgment call right now judgment is where we get to make those changes change our past we get to really see ourselves we get judgment every day and people think that it's, it's you know other religions will teach you it's like this one day you know judgment is every day you wake up you get to choose your heaven and again i allow myself to manifest all of all of my desires and wishes and this is when you wake up every day you get to choose how you manifest that how do you create that happiness and again we're talking about the one the ones again are that magician energy so you do have a new beginning this is definitely a new beginning here wow and as i say that the fool in the bottom you know the fool you know the beginning is here so let's see this moving on six of swords page of cups so obviously emotions need to be shared here and also this is filling up your own cup right we're we're rejuvenating our emotions we're being honest here give me more of this moving on we're choosing to see things for how they are um there's an authenticity that comes with it four of pentacles but obviously needing to see where we're we're holding on to the past and i feel that's what spirit is saying move on if you want to choose love or you want to choose this new energy this new nurturing space for yourself it's to move to the calmer waters to move to um to persevere the past the things that you hold on then yes taurus you might have to let go of some again strong pentacles energy this is also capricorn energy here but needing to move on for things not hold on too tightly it's like um embrace the adventure of the emotions uh don't fear the emotions you know see them see them for what they are let's see if this love begins by the ace of cups here we've got queen of swords and the chariot so there i feel the this is the swords energy there is a you guys there could be a cancer involved here or air sign gemini libra aquarius but there is a control i feel that's happening out of fear three of swords energy but i feel like you guys are there is a progress here chariot there is progress here so at the end of the day you're nurturing your space um taurus i don't know why i keep saying this someone's dealing dealing with an aquarius if i'm saying that but that you're nurturing your space you're choosing what you want you're also being very mindful because the queen of swords is very experienced the queen of swords is the widower the divorcee of the tarot and so you're willing to move and you're willing to progress but you're not going to open your heart to just anybody this is something you're definitely being it's like that watchful eye but yet you're you're moving forward but you have a watchful eye okay more on the throat chakra ten of swords you know there's a need definitely to communicate here got to work on your communication here that's what i'm feeling eight of pentacles give me one of the stroke chakra you got to work on your communication here um taurus because it feels like that's probably what oh my god what I was about to find out was the nine of swords more swords energy it's what's probably burdening you more three of wands 
it's like it's what's burdening you more and i feel look i was about to say teach yourself open up to um being more comfortable with expressing your emotions again the page of cups is just a page it comes very small there's a need to learn how to express emotions here So it feels like what I'm picking up, because this is general read, you guys, but I'm picking up um, an energy of <sighs> needing to find your voice and getting out of your own way. That's what this energy here looks, feels generally. Give me more of this Four of Cups. Because the Fool is here. And this Ace of Cups is here. So this new beginning is here. The Lovers king of wands and the ten of wands burdensome wow uh, it feels like making the wrong decision the lovers is about a decision and this is about you really nurturing more of the passionate side of yourself taurus um it feels like obviously this feels like past energy because if we're holding on to ten of wands this is something that was long overdue and uh, there is a burden here with this decision because the lovers again is a decision i'm on the lovers oh my goodness it's too much oh there oh i knew it this empress <laughs> taurus this empress has been coming out for some time in your read so there's obviously um, an empress in your energy here. It could be a Libra, a Gemini. You got other signs here. There's someone you obviously respect. There's someone who you do have a, a beginning with. I think this is someone you're really trying to be careful. There's a, there is a mental struggle here because you've got all this swords energy. So basically this is where the voice has to be found. Um, for some of you, it's a financial, right? Because we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles can be work. So maybe working towards something else. There's an ending of some sort and needing to be more vocal about, about finances here. Um, I feel also not knowing what's to come with this three of wands because three of wands is is what's in the distance and it's almost like the uncertainty again the eight of swords did not knowing which is why spirit is saying don't you know surrender your attachment to results this is your attachment to the result like you have to trust that it's going to be just the way it needs to be if it's something you want right if it's if it's your desire right i allow myself to manifest all of my desires and wishes if it's something you desire and wish then what is how why would it go wrong why would you think you have to also trust that what you desire what you wish is going to be just the way just what you want and clearly there is the lovers and the empress so there's a serious attraction here with someone that you feel very passionate for passionate about um but it's almost like you have to surrender and to the process you have to surrender to what it is again the attachment to the results it just it's going to unfold in its way um getting more on this judgment oh my god taurus and of course, of course, Taurus. All right, Taurus. So, it's a lot of cards. <sighs> Judgment. We've got Six of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Six of Cups, Two of Wands, Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Emperor. There, uh, Taurus, and uh, we're gonna do love read, so let's see what happens with the love read. But here I'm picking up again, this feels like your love read that we've been seeing for a couple of weeks, where I keep picking up the Emperor and the Empress, um, and something about the past here. So there are fears about 
unreciprocating energy, a, 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 an energy. Maybe this person just fears the past. They have to walk away towards. There's a need to work, walk away from emotional attachments. Two of Wands, make that decision. And just offer your love. There is love here. There is love here. There's an, there is definitely a connection. It's just going to require the commitment and patience from your from you. And that's that, you know. Let's see. We're going to get into more into love readings. I'm curious to what else comes up here. Because it's felt very... Let's see, Spirit. What do we have here for abundance for Taurus for the month of November? Raise, raise or promotion. Mm, wow, Taurus. Congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So some of you will be receiving this raise or promotion. And that may be what the finance aspect here is that I'm picking up the stressing of financial change. Um, so... That's what maybe some of this waiting is, where there will be a promotion, something, there there, there will be um, a change in your income. We have focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety. <laughs> I mean, talk about anxiety, you guys. The Nine of Swords, unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. And this is what I'm saying. Like this, this will exist. What you just have to prioritize and trust that you're making the right decisions for yourself. This is what's causing the stress. There's something about finances here and you have to trust that you're manifesting. You've got the fool here, which means a beginning. You have to surrender to it. You have to know that what you want, but you also have to know that the fool after the fool is a magician you can alchemize and bring these this shift in your life um but you have to prioritize what you want so remember when you put your focus and where you receive your is where you receive your outcome so whatever you're focusing is going to be the outcome right so focus on the on the outcome you want your desire you're manifesting your desire you can't be attached to specific results though you have to know that you can still manifest what you want. It, it can't be a specific way. We can't be attached to it. It's just going to come. We just have to know. Um, but okay, we're going to move into your love read. <sighs> Ooh, Taurus. That was a lot. It's And you know, it's, it's crazy because I feel the anxiety even in my own energy right now with this energy. This was, a, this was, this is heavy energy for whoever is feeling this. So, all right. Now to your love read, Taurus. I am feeling, I'm, and I feel a similar energy. So there's some releasing or purging that's being done here. It's something that you that is being let go with this connection that I'm picking up for the love energy. That, but there's a an, an, a huge passion. Um, I did see a lot of Ace of Wands before, so there was a lot of passion with this connection, um, unexpected. But there's also a combination of purging. So I think um, this feels good overall. But I think you're overcomplicating it. And I think that's where the sword's energy is coming in. So mentally, you're overcomplicating it within your own mind. Um, and you just need to kind of lighten up your own energy. So Spirit, give me this energy for love for Taurus. You have to lighten up your own energy. You know? But this is someone... Like, this is a mutual energy where you both are going to be very passionate towards each other. Um, so obviously passion, playfulness, there is a giddiness here, a lot of ace, I think I really feel strong ace, that ace of wands energy that I was feeling, religious factor, this is bringing about change, and then the deception here, so, and I just feel this deception, we'll get clarifiers, but yep, make an effort, trust, this is, this is more of your energy, I feel it's that sword's energy of, um, 
past energy that you that needs to be transformed here right this to me this is the the scorpio energy the religious factor here with this, this is scorpio energy trying to make a shift and this is a, a trusting again we're talking about the full energy and the surrendering here of what you need to trust for yourself okay so what do we got here or Taurus in love So this is definitely a fresh energy for a lot of you. Like I said, I was feeling singles. Um, let's see what we got here. And that Empress energy was also very strong for you guys. So Chariot again. There goes the Eight of Swords again, trapped in fear. I'm telling you, this is spilling over. There goes that Devil energy. I think again, that's that deception and envy the conflict and defeat and the heart chakra and I think this has to do with just past energy Taurus there are just fears here you know and I think this is just because um, it's a transition a transitional period that leads to fear and because this feels new because we have passion playful so this is like a new person you both are not going to know what's going you know like it's going to require trust and making the effort from both parts um and it could be that either or have so has something coming going happening outside of the connection that creates this but i do feel with this heart chakra is an activation and this just is making both of you feel things that you haven't felt in a long time you know and it's genuine um, but there's also a need to heal and allow yourself to open up more freely within your own heart space so let's see what this chariot can do this chariot here spirit the love the torse oh my god this wanted to come out yep this is serious so the chariot with the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles you both are serious about this connection. And again, we have about finances here. So there is a change for finances here, but it's a new beginning. It's committed. I think, again, Turning Point wants to show up Wheel of Fortune. So this is faded. It's one of those things that it's, it's has a positive outcome chariot ace of pentacles page of pentacles the commitment that you both are going to make has a positive outcome and this is going to require the trust um give me this trapped in fear and the eight of swords is self-inflicted so why the trapped in fear here seven of swords right seven of swords with the eight of swords this is self-inflicted and this has to do with past energy two of cups it could be a prior connection past to me this feels past because in order for someone to be trapped in fear is because there's a triggering energy that comes within them every now and then there is this energy of deceit energy of discontent energy of repeating patterns you know that's where the fear is going to come in um give me more of this trapped in fear hermit and and this is where you have to trust the process we just saw the hermit you guys right the spiritual teacher you have to trust that you've learned right that you have learned your lessons and you're not going to repeat the same patterns and things will be different but again this is where you have to this is where the solitude comes in and there's an understanding that happens when you do spend those those moments those nights that you do spend alone and you kind of hear yourself right and your person too but you're more this temptation here more the devil and the page of swords oof and the queen of wands Anytime the Queen of Wands shows up with the devil, 
this is a past energy um i think this person had this is the third party getting more on this queen of wands there was a lot of conflict with this person wow this person really felt detached four of pentacles this is a third party i think this person there is a past energy with this person you guys could be dealing with a, a virgo um it could be a fire sign aries leo sag air sign but this is the, the the holding on this is where i feel there's an energy either you or your person taurus you're holding on to dear life of not repeating a pattern um and it's almost like your stability you're holding on to your stability because of the conflict of the past you don't want to go back and forth anymore um give me more on this page of swords oof tower and this is a relationship ending so something happened and there goes that ace of wands so here goes the new beginning there has been a change there's something needs to end the tower is here this is an ending of something um and a need for stability so there's a lot of resolving i think this is where the deception comes in we'll get a clarifier for that but give me more of this conflict and defeat and i again this is you choosing your battles i feel or your person choosing their battle so whoever's in this third party situation um obviously this 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 needs to be resolved um, it needs to be in the past. You have to know, again, trust in your own wisdom. Right? Conflict and defeat. Let me see it. Five of Swords. That you're not going to win every battle, but you also want to be happy. Yep. Five of Swords. Clarifying the Five of Swords. And then the Star. And this is where the healing needs to take place. But also, this is happening for a reason. So either way, this was destined to happen in this way. This is to really align you back to your soul, Taurus, both of you. And I feel there is a change. And this is where the, the trusting, again, the trust and make the effort. Because... this is where you're you're finding your way again getting more of this heart chakra dear god it's too many spirits getting more of the heart chakra there is a finding a way again here um for those of you this could be just uh five of pentacles again your heart so again feeling abandoned there is there is an abandonment here with you or your person five of pentacles the heart is still healing but it's it's learning when we see the hang down there's a lot of enlightenment happening new ways of seeing things with the hanged man like there is true enlightenment with the heart so there is a healing of the heart the star you there is an alignment with the star give me one with the heart chakra three of cups three of cups yeah and it could be friends and fam um family this person the battle the battle within this energy and there goes that nine of swords again i just die something needs to come to an end here taurus so this is where there's a lot of passion there's a lot of flirting um this is definitely a committed relationship this this can go the long haul but this energy needs to be cleared the stress of what this is that's causing resistance and confusion here with the seven of cups lots of confusion um let's see i'm gonna pull another clarifier here Spirit. give me more on this deception here by the deception 
Eight of Wands. Ugh, with the Two of Swords. And this is, to me, this feels like progress. Two of Swords not knowing what, to, what they can't see. You know. Two of Pentacles. And there was a Magician. With the Wheel of Fortune. You know, this is definitely going to require that surrendering. And trusting. That's why Spirit is saying you have to trust. Two of Swords is the High Priestess of Major Arcana High Priestess. So there's a lot spiritually that you just, there's a reason it's all happening. Here we have religious factors. Right? You want this religious factor. Yeah, this is bringing about change. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and the Six of Cups. There's definitely inner child healing that's happening here. Um, I think there's also triggering, inner child triggering. This is also has to do with a past past connection. Again, this, this represents a prior connection, which is Nine of Pentacles re-stabilizing themselves. So this person obviously had to rebuild themselves um, after a long period of conflict. And this really brought a lot of change. So there is probably also fear of losing that balance again after really committing so much time in rebuilding. So let's see what the block is. What are the blockages? Let's see what the blockages are for the sanity. Remember. <laughs> Remember who you are and where you come from. You know, this person lost themselves. Give me another blockage. You know, and this is a, this is a matter. This is what I'm saying. They took it took a long time to rebuild and to remember who they were. This is about remembering themselves. Um, this is where the fears come in. This is why so many swords energy. Um, this is why uh, there's the confusion with this person, but it's definitely um, bringing about change. So it's a metamorphosis age. So this, this is kind of like before they become a butterfly, things are unfolding before their eyes. Yep. Cord cutting, cut cords daily to people and situations draining you. And they have to cut cords from the past. And we've got, there goes that can't breathe, anxiety and depression. You know, for some of you, this was the past energy and this person, you know, this is why the, the past brings this person a lot of anxiety, or this could be you again, Taurus, because there's a lot about swords and anxiety in this read. And this is your read. We started this as your read. So, um, this is about coping. This is about really learning what helps soothe that energy but i feel this is an important message for whoever's watching so even you know if you're a cross watcher if you're a cross watcher here um this could be you so let's see what is the untold message of the heart lessons i didn't know what i had until you were gone lesson learned and i feel this is more about them learning lessons about their past and now that they've cut cords or they're cutting cords or they've cut cords energetically things have changed for them what else for others of you it's you know it's it's this 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 connection where they probably cause some separation maybe there's in and out and they're learning lessons with you within this, the gap in the space of transitions when they're in this relationship with you. Foolish, I feel like an idiot for the choices I've made. I wasn't thinking clearly at the time. This person can make foolish decisions sometimes, you know, where they just respond. I feel like this person has a way of responding still and causes them to, causes them to have reactions that really obviously makes them feel foolish. But again, these are lessons, right? So they're learning along the way. And I feel like this is re-triggering a lot of their past wounds that they have to kind of, again, if this is you, Taurus, but 
there's a lot of retriggering of past wounds here i need a clear way so be present in the moment i feel like we got this for you um taurus not so long ago so the past has <laughs> exactly the past has passed and the future is still unknown there's no need to worry the only time that does matter is the present be mindful again this is about not knowing what to expect i feel there's fears here so again if this is you learn to be in the present learn to surrender um let's see what else the self-love message from source for you taurus is give yourself the space to discern that's that hermit energy taurus so what you truly feel allow action to come from your unique flow of the that fierce love within so your action is going to come from that flow of you of trusting what's within. So whatever your emotions are telling you, um, when you give yourself that space to tr truly heal, to heal and hear, then you know what to do. Um, your physical form and energetic body are like no one else. Learn more deeply your way of being and blooming. What life wants from you is you. So again, understanding your own energetic body. Learn more deeply your way of of being and blooming. What is your way of being? What is your way of blooming? Like, what is your way? And, you know, a lot of the times we learn to discern that through our... Again, I keep feeling this energy of spending, you know, those, those moments we have alone where we can meditate and kind of tune into our own energy and think whether it's right, whether it's meditating or writing or whatever the case may be. But there is a need to understand our own body so your physical form and energetic body are like no one else's so learn more deeply to learn what your physical form and energy body is like you have to learn and be you know be alone sometimes you have to feel it you have to feel that energy you know during those silent moments that we can make and again it requires trust and making effort um for, for you to move forward with this connection, this empress energy that we saw earlier. Um, I feel that is in a lot of your energy. But overall, I think this is about learning how to surrender, um, getting out of your own head, knowing that the full energy is here, introducing a new beginning in your life. And you're learning to really find a new way here with with a new person um so things may feel unexpected there may be triggers but as long as you both trust and work together and make the effort you know and clearly there's a lot of playful energy and passion here that makes it um worthwhile so taurus my goodness what a long read i love you please like share subscribe